Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 16.237. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 16. 232 I believe or something around there anyway uh, this build has some noteworthy changes it has uh, mostly fixes and sort of smaller enhancements there's no real big features in this build uh, things like timeline and I believe cloud clipboard won't be coming with the full creators update now so uh, we, we can't really demo them yet since they're not in the insider preview builds and they likely won't be until later this year uh, but for now build 16237 does have some nice improvements so diving straight in the first noteworthy changes are with microsoft edge more specifically uh read aloud now works within pdfs for example so as we can see here we have a surface rt user guide and if we come up here into the top right you'll find that uh Oh, it disappeared. There is. There is a read aloud button, and if we select this. Surface User Guide with Windows RT 8.1 Software Published, March 2014, Version 2.0. Which is really quite nice, and you can change the speed in which the narrator talks, and you can also change the voice as well. So that was Microsoft David. We can also use Microsoft Zero. Published, March 2014, Version. And we can also use Microsoft Mark. So it'll sound slightly different. So you can pick your favorite person if you really want. And that should also work on normal web pages as well now. So if you go to Windows Central, actually I need to check what's the uh, key, Control Alt R. So if we hit Control Alt R on a web page, we should be able to have it read the text on that web page. So if we go into here, one of these documents, and we could do Control Alt R. I lied, it didn't work. Skip to main content. There it is. I think. I, I genuinely don't know what's going on. Content. No, stop it. Accessorize your surface. Okay, it is working. It's just taking... Accessorize it. your surface. Yep, that's correct. Surface arc mouse review. A beautiful peripheral that's ultimately underwhelming. There you go. Now, how do I surface turn you off? Surface arc mouse review. A beautiful no. peripheral that's ultimately underwhelming. I should have done this By research Daniel before Rubino, we started the video. Read it aloud, there it is. 2017 at 12 p.m. EDT. Is there a way to turn you off? By Daniel Rubino, Please Friday, help. July 7th. Please 2017 help. at 12 help. p.m. EDT. Shut up! All right, so yeah, so read it aloud now works across web pages and PDFs, which is quite handy. So if we open up Edge again, hopefully it doesn't start reading aloud automatically. Uh, but there's now a nice new favorite animation. So uh, if we go into... Windows Central again, and we add Windows Central to our favorites. You'll see here that there's a sweet little animation that jumps the star from here into our hub area. So if we select this, let's say Windows Central into our favorites. So let's add so that little animation. It jumped from there into there, and now I can see Windows Central in here. Now, I've also noticed that uh, the the highlight effect that was in the previous build is got Oh, it's there. So it's still there, but it's just disappeared from here, which is peculiar. It was there before. Oh, well. Fair enough. Uh, so that's a nice little animation there, which uh, I'm sure many people will appreciate. It's the little details like that that make all the difference uh, in an operating system. Oh, and, and another noteworthy change. If we select the share icon, the share UI no longer shows up in the middle of the display. It shows up right underneath the button, which makes a lot more sense. Uh, but this still works as intended. So I can now send this to, I can copy the link or I can open up mail and send this off as an email, which uh, is pretty nice. So that's pretty much it for Microsoft Edge. Let's move on to the next noteworthy changes, and that's with uh, notifications. Now, in this build, Microsoft has changed the X in notifications to an arrow, and the reason they've done this is because uh, some users were getting confused about what the X in the notification actually does. So if you look up here, this is what the old notification looked like, in the sense that it would pop out, and then if you wanted to close it, you would press X. But that didn't actually close the notification, that just sent it to the action center, and it would show up in here. So that kind of confused users usually a next means close but instead in this case it was sending it somewhere else so they've changed it so in this build when it pops you'll see there's an arrow there instead if I click the arrow it sends it away into the action center where I can now deal with it there and then I can click the X and get rid of it like that so that's a nice change there and also for things like alarms I believe alarms let's try it uh, they've changed it so the buttons are no longer right orientated but they're now sort of spread out across the bottom of the app which makes a lot more sense so Save. So let's hopefully hopefully that pops and we'll be able to show you that in a few seconds. So no longer are the buttons orientated to the right, they are now spread out across the bottom, which makes a lot more sense. And I can dismiss you like that. 
and that will go away. Moving right along, next up are My People Improvements. Now, Microsoft has changed the name of Shoulder Taps. No longer are they called Shoulder Taps, they're now called Pops. And uh, you can see that reflected in settings here. So if we go into Taskbar, let's go down, Show My People Pops. And if you don't know what a pop is, it's simply that thing where if you have a pinned icon, a pinned person on the Taskbar, uh, and they send you an emoji within Skype, for example, that emoji will pop up on the desktop as a pop and it will like do its little animation and then go away again. You can turn the pops off as I just showed you there in settings. So if they do annoy you, you can disable them uh, as I'm sure a lot of people might want to disable because obviously pops can be quite annoying if they're showing up while you're doing a presentation or something, but yes. You can also turn off the sounds that some of them play, which is really quite nice. You can also turn off my people altogether, which I haven't actually shut up before, but it is there which uh, is fairly nice. So up next is of course the emoji panel. This is a big deal in Windows 10 for 2017. If we hit the Windows key and the full stop button, we get an emoji panel. And in this build, they've added a few more improvements. So if you ho hover over an emoji, for example, you get a tooltip that uh, tells you what the emoji is, which is pretty handy because I don't know about you, but often, I mean, I'm not, I'm not down with the kids, unfortunately. So I don't really know what all these emojis are. Uh, so now I can find out by hovering over one. So for example, this one here is ecstatic face, also known as smiling face with an open mouth. This one is eyeballs which also means eyes of course uh this one here is i imagine being sick oh nauseated face see i wouldn't even have known that i thought that was just being sick face but apparently not so there you go we can now figure out what all these emojis are and all that good stuff and also uh this build now also has um emoji 5.0 uh, hooked up to its search function. So in the previous build, if you remember, I tried to look for pretzel and it couldn't find pretzels, which was a shame, even though the pretzel emoji was in the build. Now, if I search for pretzel again, I have my pretzel there and I can now insert that into uh, Google or being even. No searches found for pretzel. That's entirely upsetting. Oh, well. So there you have it, guys. That's pretty much it for build 16.237. We are approaching the end of development of the full creators update at this point. So we've probably had most of the big features uh, that are supposed to be coming in this update. And from here on out, uh, the builds will include, you know, less big features and more improvements and under the hood changes and bug fixes leading up to release, which is, I believe, scheduled for October. So there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>